Okay, here's take two. I am going to be making this. This is a chicken sandwich for the ants. Now that the coworkers are away, let's see if I can make this any better. I'll be going for a square. Or a rectangle. Uh, around is gonna be a little too difficult for me at the moment, but then you get this done quick. Here we go. Uh, this one will not be microwaved. All right. There you go. There's your patty, or chicken patty. Let's cut the cheese. <laughs> I really didn't mean to get any on you. Oh, yeah, sure. You're a fucking sure. liar. I like all these holes. I got a knife. You want to do oh, that's a real one, too. Is that garlic? No, that's the cheese. Oh, I was like, God damn, damn it's crazy. So, man, For the oh, ants, no. they wouldn't touch a bad garlic. What are you making? I'm making a second one for them. What is that? Chicken patty sandwich, bread, cheese, and um, I got some onions here, and I'll cut up the fried McMini fries. You're going to feed them? Yeah. Damn, they're going to freaking come back bigger. Who are you feeding? Once ants. a week. A what? Ants. Ants. Are you recording it? Yeah. Recording you making their food? Yep. Behind the scenes. You just pour gas on them and set them on fire while they're eating? Oh, hell no. Oh, come on, Dan. He's, he's saving them. He, he fucking... Oh, come on. I thought they I thought they died last year when they put that skunk on top and they just disappeared. Did you have, have you had any ants coming in over on your side? On the kitchen? A little bit, but uh, not so much around the sinks, but I did get rid of them. I just had to use, uh, um, I just had to use some ivory soap. All right. Just rub around some stuff and get rid of them, so. Three or four on the counter when I wake up in the morning. Yeah, unfortunately, they're coming from outside, but yeah. I think they're coming through the sinks, man. They could be. I wouldn't put it past them. I think if you, if you sprinkle baking soda by the back door. Oh, I've, I've been putting. Keep the fucking ants I've, I've been putting down some baking soda um, uh, sugar traps just in case. Where they'll, they'll be attracted to the sugar. They'll eat the. Uh, they will eat the uh, baking soda in the process. And then they'll either feed to the rest of them or they'll just die off and they'll, they'll stop coming for it. I had to do that with I had to do that with some of those little tiny black beetles that were coming in too, unfortunately. But it got rid of them. All right, there was that. There was that. I was trying to put baking soda down by the sink to keep the ants from coming into the sink. Oh, you have to tempt them with salt or something mixture. If it's just baking soda, they won't eat it. Which is actually a little blasphemy, considering I'm saying this on the this recording. Worst case scenario, sun comes out, services it, and we actually use it as a fan. Okay. Let's get the fry going here. We you went around and record this when no one was around. Hopefully I'm past the last the first three seconds, so I don't care. Alright. I'm going to quickly run this out to them when we uh, are done here. I just don't know what's behind me if I'm going to twist my ankle or not. Looks like I gave them about four potato wedges. For my single fry. Okay. One, two, three, four. Here's another one. Um, this one I will not be microwaving. This one was microwaved for about 25 seconds. So they have two sandwiches to choose from. Alright, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up and uh, give them to there. 
I don't know if it's going to rain, and um, we still have a customer at the moment. There we go, some fries, that. I can't give them that ketchup, the vinegar they do not like. Mustard, they may not like either, I don't know. I have to do some tests on that one. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. This has gone long enough. So, goodbye everyone, and um, I will be uh, posting this or the other one, and um, we will see um, which one I use for the uh, video. So, goodbye everyone.